Enter a world of stories as weird and wild as man's imagination can conjure. A world where anything is possible. Where science and the mystical combine in surprising and unpredictable adventures. Enter a world of astounding awesome tales. Are you ready for more tantalizing tales of terror? Myths of monsters and machismo? The history of a heroic hunter? Good, because it is time yet again for another exciting journey with Rip Daring, Cryptid Hunter Extraordinaire. Joining the intrepid adventurer is his field medic, Guinevere, a nurse as equally skilled in medicine as she is at deflecting Rip. And lastly, the loyal Percival, Rip's personal butler, tailor, navigator, and monster lure. Join the crew, dear listeners, as we follow them on an exciting cryptid hunt. Tonight, we have a short but sweet adventure. Episode 23, Rip Daring and the Dearly Departed. (sighs) You smell that? Now that is the smell of freedom. That is the smell of the good old U.S. of A. Rip, that's Manua. We're standing downwind from a farm. No, 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 my easily confused Guinevere. That is the scent of business. An entrepreneuring farmer who smelled an opportunity and dug out a little corner of capitalism to profit off of it. Nothing else is truer to the American spirit. I'm sure that they have farms in China. Don't be foolish. We all know that those commies feast off of American sadness, which is why we must starve them with our success. But enough of the beast of communism. We're here today for a different creature. We're here for... Uh, Percival. Uh, Percy, old boy, you can stop shining my boots for a second. Yes, sir? Remind Guinevere here of what we're hunting today. I, uh, want to make sure you're earning your keep and paying attention. Well, sir, here is the documentation regarding the sightings and information we were given by the sheriff, and... Come now, Percy, you know that I must keep my hunter senses sharp. I can't dilute my mind with that pointless dribble. If it were one of those astoundingly awesome tales books I can pick up for the affordable price of $29, that'd be another story. Summarize, in ten words or less. Uh, Very well, sir. Wouldn't want to divert any blood from your muscle to your head, would we, sir? Sightings vary on appearance, so the creature can likely transform itself. Ugh, should have known better than to have a robot try to count. I thought you knew ones and zeros. Percival, finish the sentence. Today we are hunting... Not deer, sir. Of course we're not hunting deer. I'm a cryptid hunter. Cryptids are not deer. But not deer are cryptids, Rip. Oh, no. Percy, this is your fault. Your nonsensical gobbledygook has spread to dear, innocent Guinevere, and I won't have it. Heaven forbid you ever get infected by a thesaurus, sir. That's why I keep dinosaurs at an arm's length. (sighs) Let me bring this down to your level. The cryptid we are hunting is... The cryptid we are hunting is not deer, sir. Most things are not deer. I'm not deer. Do you expect me to hunt myself? Hmm, I'd pay to watch that. We cannot classify cryptids into deer and not deer categories. Most of them are not deer. What would be deer? Jackalopes, technically? As much as I would love to see Rip lose what little minds he has, I'm not getting overtime. Percival, set your paranormal scanner for creatures moving erratically without changing location. Of course. Scanning. Oh... It seems that Master Rip's <clears throat> loud momentary confusion has drawn them to us. Oh, dear God. Now's not the time for deer puns, Percy. Now is the time for action. My keen hunter senses have found a couple of creatures that fit into your deer cryptid category. You may think that those are simple deer, but don't let your gullible robotic eyes fool you. 
Note how the jaw extends to the torso and is filled with razor-sharp teeth. Antlers that shift and change shape as we watch. The hooves have digits like that of a human hand. These are either hooligans in shoddy costumes or some kind of strange, mutated stag. In that case, sir, I think we should try to capture them. Perhaps we can learn how they freely modify their bodies. And if they are humans in costumes, we should probably... Or I could mount their heads in my cabin. You know my preferred order of asking questions and shooting. Besides, shape-shifting deer will ensure I always have something new to watch above the fireplace. <laughs> there you have it, dear listeners. Another tale, another trophy for the mantle. The moral of today's story is... Don't let dumb words get in the way of action. That's the Rip Daring way. Tune in next time for more exciting exploits and another incredible cryptid hunt. <laughs>